Hello everyone, this is NC Lord, and today we're doing another YouTube video. Um, today we have Tyler, That's, um, and he's going to be facing me with his deck, and I'll be facing him with mine. Um, if you, you want to go first, do the signal thing with tab once. If you would like to go second, do it twice, like click on something... He's having a bit of technical difficulties with the chat. Otherwise, I'd just have him communicate using that. As everyone can see, I've updated the pendulum scales and put them in here, even though you could just sort of make your own. Um, a minor addition to this thing. And, uh, yes, the changes have been reflected in the... Okay. So we've we've already shuffled our decks, and I'm just waiting for him to decide who's going first. Okay, he's going to go first, so I will draw my five cards, and he won't. He'll draw his five cards and start out our first the first move. By the way, Tyler, if you want to look at face down cards, just hold um, shift. I think it's I think it's like alt and shift. Yeah, alt and shift, and you can peer down a card without having to flip it up. Um, to flip a card face down, press F and then move it forward. Like that way, it'll be face down before you it leaves your hand. Y yeah, you don't need to flip them face down when they're in your hand just the ones you want to put face down on the field. Just gonna look in uh, at that card. Ah, all right. Um, no response. You're free to do that. Um, just just show the cards on the field because you're searching if you're searching which is yeah and the card you got to discard for cost just put it in the graveyard which is over there okay I'm just gonna get a quick zoom in on that all right Uh, flip those up, um, and the other one. I'm just gonna quickly, yeah, have a look at that. Okay, so blue eyes alternative dragon. I I'm a little unfamiliar with the effects, so I'm just gonna take a quick second to read that one. Uh, and uh huh. Wow, what uh, easy conditions. Okay. I have no response to that. Um, are you revealing blue eyes to summon this card? Because in this case, the summon would default around deck leader. Um, I don't know if that's what you're intending to do. Okay, so that's you're revealing that. All right. You 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 didn't even need to let it hit the field, but um, would you like to move that card? I'm 
just reading what its effect does. By the way, you can still move this card for both my audience and the benefit of of Tyler. You can still move this card if you use its effect, but you cannot make an attacking move during the same turn you use its effect, for example. Or make a move during the battle phase, like a non-hostile move. Oh, and I forgot to turn these on. There was actually... Here we go. When you end your turn, just click that. Alright, that is all for the turn. My opponent chose not to move a single monster during that turn for whatever reason, and I will continue with my turn. I will move my deck leader one square forward, one grid zone forward if you want to be formal. I will set this card face down and move it to my left and your right. I will... Hmm. I'm going to just look in my extra deck. I will norm summon this card without tributing it. Then I will move it one square forward. Then I will banish this card to special summon Malefic Cyber End Dragon. Now for the fun part. I overlay these two to summon Ravenous Tarantula, which you may be familiar with. You want to press Alt if you want to zoom in it, or even more extreme, you can press M as a magnifier. It's basically just fodder for um, for seven sins because that's what I'm. I, and then I'm going to move this one square forward shortly thereafter. And everyone's favorite spider seven sins rank up onto this monster. For those of you in the know, when in, in DOR, when X Y Z monsters rank up, they always rank up where the monster previously was. So Seven Sins ranks up. And now I'm going to enter my battle phase, and I'm going to attack Blue-Eyes Alternative Dragon. As a result of my attack, Blue-Eyes Alternative will go to the grave. You take a thousand life point damage, and I take up that spot. Uh, just calculate the life points here. Use this thing here. You, you know what? Just here, I'm just gonna. I'll do that. There we go. Uh, can you put that away, please? That's that's not. We we don't need that right now. Just I'll put that away. All right, and I end my turn. It is your move. You may draw. And...
Uh, yeah. Are you setting that card? Okay. By the way, you can set monsters in face down attack position in this as well. Just so you know, in case that has any relevance. I am obligated to inform you of that, as well as the audience, though the audience usually knows this. I will draw for turn. Read this. Okay, I will move my deck leader forward. I will actually ignore your monster and move my seven sins over here. And I will pass my turn. Draw for turn. Hmm. I move my deck leader one square forward, one grid zone forward. I will normal summon my monster known as Ruffin Ruffian Railcart. I will move him one thing here. Then I will move my seven sins over here. And I will set one card here and move it over here and pass my turn. side note for you folks back home or whoever's watching this it's a bit ironic because Seven Sins was first debuted in the manga I will draw well folks this duel has has not had any thing overly eventful take place so far. However, hopefully that'll change in the future of this. And I will first remind myself what I set face down and pass my turn. I am surprised that nothing has happened so far. However, I will move my deck leader to my left. I will then move this guy over here. I will... this card face down and and then move it over here and I will pass my turn actually no I'm not going to pass my turn I didn't click end turn yet I will attack you for 1800 life points I'd appreciate it if you could punch in the numbers by going over here 
wise. Uh, well, yeah, just 1800. So it helps if you hold M, it magnifies it as it's already got the correct number. That will be all for my turn. Well, folks, for those of you who have seen my videos before, I have to say this is the first time I've ever actually faced a Blue Eyes deck. And what have we here? Hold on a second. Okay, thank you. Oh, in response to your spell, I'm going to actually activate Twin Twisters in response. I will be in that case pitching my effect veiler actually um, I will pitch my exodus that's far less useful right now preventing that effect from going off unless it was cosmos because we all know that what happens when you MST or Twin Twister Cosmotown. Well, I'm going to move this card forward and activate it because I can then I'm going to activate magic planter which will let me di send this to the grave and let me draw two new cards wow this hand is boring as hell now I'm going to enter my battle phase where I attack for 1800 I may not be the best at math, but uh, 18, man, yeah, okay. Game? Unless he has Battle Theta or something, which could be summoned in any of these two applicable spots, if that were indeed an accessory to the deck. Okay. This has been an interesting match. I would like to show my opponent what I had face down. Um, all I had was a Metal Reflect Slime, which is part of this deck that I was uh, I was given to make for another video of mine. Um, my opponent appears to have a Sage with Eyes of Blue. What was in your hand? I would like to actually see that for the sake of this video. You know what, I can, I can help you with that, it's just, it's easy. It's just, there you go. The field spell. Blue eyes. Wow. I, I, I feel terrible, folks, because I've been in Brick City before, and this is definitely Brick City. I'd like to give a round of applause to our guest Tyler and hopefully me and him can do some more future videos I have other decks that are sometimes anime sometimes made up ones all together that we could try out I appreciate him being on our show as a 
guest, and hopefully we'll come up with some NC name to give him, like we do to some of our other guests. You know, like NC Inquisitor and NC Lady, though I haven't had an actual video with her yet, where she's been in it. But she, she's a character, I'll tell ya. And, um, you know, we will certainly, if you have any custom decks that are reasonable or based on the anime, let me know, and we'll, you know, I'm also looking for other volunteers for YouTube videos if anyone's got any interesting ideas. Again, thank you for coming on our, on my video, Tyler, and it has been quite a pleasure. And for those of you watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will bring you more content. This has been NC Lord, signing out.